Brethren, this week I've had one question which uh, asked me about uh, what changes we're going to make, uh, how the provincial strategic plan is going, what should lodges be thinking about in, in relation to their strategic plan. Times are a change in Brethren. The new normal is not going to be the old normal. 44.74% of our 2,100 members are in the 71 and over age group. 67.13% are in the 61 and over age group. So we're very top heavy in relation to the older Mason. We've got to make changes. My executive meetings are now in the future going to be held by Zoom cuts down traveling time. Uh, it means we can get on, everybody can still have their say, but we don't have to travel. We can sit in the comfort of our own homes and conduct our executive meetings. A couple of weeks ago, I met every day, Monday to Friday, I met with every single visiting officer. With them, I discussed the changes that will of necessity have to happen in our lodges. As part of the uh, Lodge strategic plan, we need to look at succession planning. We can't just say in August, three weeks before the September installation, oh, what, who are your officers going to be, Worshipful Master? We need to consider them well in advance. We need to have, and I've said this enough times, we need to have the right man in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Gone are the days when we can say, oh, Fred hasn't got a job, let's give him such and such. We need to look at, with the Lodge Strategic Plan, the pathway. Uh, Kim Orton, the Provincial Secretary, has asked every Lodge to let him know who the Lodge Membership Officer is. Please, if you haven't done that, please do so now. We've got time to look at our strategic plans. I've been looking at how I can best utilize my time next year. And I've got two new wardens coming in next year. And you are gonna be the first to know who they are, apart from them, of course. As my provincial senior grand warden, I have asked and appointed Worshipful Brother Eddie Kuzminov, currently the provincial Tyler. And as the junior warden, Worshipful Brother Doug Day. My visits are going to be at, to inst at installation are going to be carried out by the two wardens. I'm still going to come to your lodges, so you're not going to get away with it. But I want to come and see who's working in the lodge to meet some of the younger members, not to come along and just see the installing master and the master elect working. I want to come along and see an initiation or a passing or a raising and talk to the light blues to the entered apprentices and to the fellow cross. Certainly the latter two quite often don't come to installations because they know they're gonna be out of the um, temple for so long. We also talked about uh, with the VOs, the Dorset Masonic calendar. I've also had a meeting with heads of other orders. We've got to move that forward, brethren. Printing uh, a thousand calendars is doing nothing for our carbon footprint. We've already got a, co a digital copy of the Dorset Masonic calendar on Midas, which is there, it's searchable, it's in a PDF format. If you want to print it off yourself, just for your lodge or for a number of lodges, perhaps meeting at, say, Wimborne or at Poole, you can do that. It's not a problem. But I'm unhappy with the number of hard copies that we are printing and which are not being used and are simply being thrown away. So over the next few years, brethren, we are gonna phase out the hard copy. Some of you will ask for a, a copy and we will do our best to accommodate that. But the bad news is it will be at cost. So if it costs us 10 pounds to print off 100, 10 pounds each to print off 100 copies, that will be the cost to you or to the lodge of the Dorset Masonic calendar. Of course, it, as it's in an, an electronic version, you can download it to your phone, so it can always be with you. Moving on with our, our thoughts, brethren, in the future, 
are our lodges our lodge buildings fit for purpose i would say no because if you look at them honestly i know you're attached to your lodge building it's part of your freemasonry but can a brother in a wheelchair reasonably unembarrassingly access your temple from the ground floor to my mind brethren and i've been a freemason now for just over 40 years so it's not that i've just been in 10 years and i want to make drastic changes but we need to look at having single story lodge buildings having our temple our dining room our bar our changing rooms all on the one floor think about it in 20 years time 44.74% of our members may well not be with us but if we want to get our younger brethren visiting our lodges and getting them to be the vibrant places that they used to be we need to think about them now these changes can't happen overnight finally brethren I hope that you will embrace some of these changes freemasons don't like change at all i don't like some of the changes that i'm going to have to introduce i'm cautious about them but they've got to be done in order to move the province of dorset and and make it fit for let's say 2050 we need to change things we need to drastically alter the things that we're doing as i've said at the start the new normal is not going to be the old normal I'll see you all again next week. Keep safe, keep well, and keep smiling. Thank you, brethren.